Update 1 on Cyclone Kate, which is a 40 mile per hour tropical storm with a pressure of 996. Merry Christmas, it's not so much a merry one on the Cocos Keeling Islands, or at least, at the very least, it's going to be a wet one. Its position is 10.9 degrees south, 97.3 degrees east. As of 2 a.m. UTC December 25th, the storm is expected to continue towards the uh, southwest as it has been doing over the past few hours. Uh, it is a recognised storm from the Australian Bureau of Meteorology, uh, but not from the Joint Typhoon Warning Centre as of yet. The storm is expected to intensify gradually, possibly peaking as a Category 2 cyclone on the Saffir Simpson Hurricane Wind Scale rather than the Australian Scale, Category 3 on the Australian Scale, in the next three to four days. Uh, and then the storm's likely to curve towards the south over the open waters of the South Indian Ocean and possibly dissipating later on. So, cyclone warning in effect for the Cocos Keeling Islands, um, an Australian territory, not too far from Christmas Island, ironically, uh, but cyclone warnings in effect for these islands only, and that will likely remain the case over the next 24 hours as the storm passes over. Indeed, the storm is pretty much at its closest approach to those islands right now. We'll see, that, we'll see it more clearly on the satellite imagery shortly, uh, but we could expect to see storm conditions there, and indeed heavy rain will probably be the biggest threat. Sea surface temperatures are fairly warm at the moment, around 28 degrees Celsius, perhaps a little bit less than that, 27 or so, but still above the 26 degree threshold required for tropical cyclone development. Wind shear, the bit that we're interested in is the uh, sort of like the top left quadrant uh, where that little gap is of uh, low shear, the minus 5 and 10 there, that's pretty much where the storm is right now. A uh, high amount of shear to its south. The water vapour imagery, you can see the storm's um, influence, you could perhaps call it loosely a spiral band towards its north there, perhaps even um, extending towards Indonesia there, uh, but here's the latest satellite imagery anyway. So here's the satellite imagery, I don't think the uh, islands are marked out on this map, but the um, storm's pretty much passing directly over it at the moment, that central core of the storm is pretty much over those islands right now. Um, of course, uh, with the islands being so small, the storm will clear them in a relatively short amount of time, possibly in the next few hours, maybe even less. Uh, so we're having uh, we're, we're early morning in Australia right now. So by lunchtime, afternoon, evening, perhaps the storm will have cleared completely because it is still a fairly compact system, and apart from from its central core, there isn't really much to it at the moment. And that's perhaps why the JTWC have. Uh, backed off from it becoming a storm just yet, but the Australian Bureau of Meteorology have designated it. There are plenty of other Invest active as well, 94P and 96P in the South Pacific Ocean. Uh, Invest 95B in the North Indian Ocean could also develop, and Invest 98W, which I believe has dissipated in the past few hours, and of course Kate. 79 tropical storms have formed so far in 2014 worldwide. Uh, 44 of those have become Category 1 hurricanes or their equivalents around the world, and 26 have become Category 3 storms with winds of 115 miles per hour plus. Uh, that means that 2014 is no longer at the bottom, it's now the 22nd busiest uh, worldwide year on record. You can visit Force 13 on any of its six outlets, no matter what day of the year it is. The website, force13.com, is the main place to stay up to date on all the goings-on around the world, storm-wise. Of course, the video pages will also keep you regularly updated. Uh, search Force 13 on there. Same too for the social pages, Facebook and Twitter, at Force 13 on Twitter if you'd like to get in touch. And you can speak to me personally on Skype, at Fool13, for tropical weather chat on there. The next update on this storm, if necessary, will follow at 2pm later on today, uh, but for now that is all.